Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, TNA, I'm going to give TNA their 100th chance there at Slammiversary, you know what I'm saying, I was walking home after work, I was thinking about ordering TNA, should I order it or not, you know, then I thought, yeah, I'm going to order this show. Next thing I know, I feel a little something tap my shoulder. <laughs> no joke. I turn around, there was a big fucking pile of bird shit right on my shoulder. You know, I think that's a bad sign there. I'm thinking of TNA pay-per-views. Bird shit's right on my motherfucking shoulder. You know, but... uh might as well give them another chance there. It's TNA Slammiversary. Another year has come and gone for TNA there. Why won't you fucking die? Die, you motherfuckers. No talk, TNA was gone down, but we're still alive. Every year, y'all think TNA gone down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. TNA Slammiversary, it's probably going to be crap there, but somebody has to support this goddamn company. Lord knows the TNA fans are broke, fucking semi-retarded bitches. They never order the goddamn shows, so... Once again, the wrestling Jesus has to step up there to fucking support this garbage piece of shit federation there. And who's going to be on the card? You have Drew Galloway versus Bobby Lashley. That's that's the big main event there. What a pile of fucking garbage. You know, you, you don't care either way who wins this match. You know what I'm saying? Drew Galloway wins. The ratings are going to keep tanking. Nobody's going to give a shit about this product. If Bobby Lashley wins, you know, you have a bit more of a legit champion. But last time Lashley was the champ, the motherfucker was boring. You know, he can wrestle a bit. He's all right, but he's not an exciting champ. There's nothing exciting about the guy. Can't talk or anything. <laughs> bit of a boring champion there. You have the Hardys going one-on-one, -on -one, Matt against Jeff Hardy. And I saw the promo that they did for this there. The contract signing. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen this. If not, go to TNA's YouTube page there. Check out the contract signing. Director's Cut contract signing Matt against Jeff Hardy the worst and I mean the worst fucking acting of all time all time not just in wrestling but of all motherfucking history this five minute video is probably the worst thing that I've ever seen in wrestling so goddamn terrible you know, Matt Hardy's talking in a different voice for some reason. Brother Nero, we are going to have a match, Brother Nero. It's, it's, it's terrible, very, very terrible. Jeff Hardy trying to look cool in the motherfucking dirt bike that fucking 12-year-old rednecks are driving around there. He thinks he's cool with this shit. Fucking bad. Very, 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 very bad. The worst five minutes in wrestling history. You gotta watch it. That's how fucking bad it is. Okay, that's that's like the the second biggest match of the night, I guess there. I saw Gail Kim versus Maria. I got semi excited there. I'm like, yes! Hot ass fucking Maria with that incredible ass there. 
finally something interesting in TNA, but I was reading some news and apparently she's injured and she can't wrestle. The only good thing on the fucking show, and <laughs> she can't wrestle. You know, and the rest of the card is fucking complete garbage. Straight up a bunch of fucking garbage fucking jobbers. Garbage, straight up crappy jobbers. This great old bum, a whole bunch of them. The usual suspects, they're DJ Zima Ion. And it's a bunch of nobodies. You have a crap main event. The Hardy Boys with terrible acting. A couple of knockout matches. Which are the only interesting parts of TNA. Because you look at the women's bodies. Not because the matches are good. But hot bodies on them fucking bitches. And the rest of the card is complete trash. Straight up fucking jobber trash. But I'm going to give it a chance there. Hopefully it's going to be good. Not... Not hopefully. It better. It better fucking be good. If I'm going to pay money for these goddamn bum garbage wrestlers, the matches better fucking be good, you stupid goddamn horseshit company. Failed hard pieces of scum. Fucking dick sucking jobbers. You better be fucking good on Sunday. Or else I will never. And I mean, fucking watch this piece of shit company ever again final chance motherfuckers final fucking chance TNA Slammiversary it better fucking be good but probably won't be for fuck's sakes cause it's TNA <laughs> TNA fucking sucks ah brother Nero give me a fucking break you demented fucking bastards until next time, peace!